I think half of the United States is unemployed at this point. Half of the world is unemployed at this point. One pathetic stimulus check pales in comparison to the trillions of dollars these corporate crooks have printed for themselves. The same happened with small businesses. A few thousand dollars here, a few thousand dollars there, compared to big businesses cashing out trillions in bailouts. It's funny that the majority of the population still has this idea in their mind, in their tiny little heads, that things are going to be okay, that things are going to be back to normal. But if you guys are still in that mindset, you better get the f out of it now and figure out how you can put yourself in a better position for the very near future. You think things are going back to normal? Look at the claims for unemployment insurance compared to the Great Recession back in 2008. It's like comparing an anthill to a mountain. People are still losing their jobs by the millions every week. The bleeding hasn't stopped, yet the media is acting like the wound is almost healed. We know at this point to do the exact opposite of what the media is telling us. If they're trying to paint the picture that things are getting better, prepare for the worst. Like this article, total of those receiving unemployment benefits falls below 20 million. Still, the refined growth has been parking up. Housing and manufacturing numbers have been showing a rebound. New orders for durable goods in May leaped 15.8%, the government reported Thursday, a number that was well above the expected 9.8% increase. Let me get this straight, buddy. 1.5 million people are losing their jobs every week in the United States, and you're trying to paint the picture that everything is getting better, that everything is okay? The news went from throwing around 15 to 20 million jobs lost up to 40 million. So who knows what the real numbers are? I would bargain that well over 60, 70 million people are unemployed right now, perhaps even over 100 million in the United States. That's over half of the working population. This is comical. They're saying, oh, well, less people are applying for unemployment, so things are getting better. Yeah, it's because most people already lost their jobs and they're already receiving unemployment. The people in control know exactly what they're doing. It's insane that people aren't writing and protesting. It is sad and pathetic how everyone has rolled over like a little sissy, la la, fairy boy vegan. People lose their jobs and just get depressed and sad. No, you didn't lose your job. It was intentionally taken from you by these pricks in control to make you desperate. And when people are desperate, they will do anything for money, such as getting an injection or maybe forcing other people to get an injection. Look, you have 20 million people that are hypothetically on unemployment. That doesn't include the dozens of millions that aren't counted on that list. And whether they're trying to skew these statistics or you know, people weren't eligible for unemployment when they lost their job. The point is, these people that aren't getting unemployment will have no problem getting injected or giving up more freedoms to collect their check, to get their universal basic income, to participate in society and be able to make a living. The government is putting over half of Americans in a position where they have to take anything, whatever is on the table, whatever the government wants them to do to participate in society and get paid. They have the sheeple in a corner. So these corporations in power have cashed out and on top of that, they're slashing their workforces. Not only did these multi-billion dollar companies get dozens of millions of dollars to help them stay afloat, they didn't even use it for what it was promised for. The loans were given to companies based on their employees, hypothetically, to keep said employees employed. So they took the check, but then fired half their workforce. We know how evil and selfish these corporations are, but people still support them. They still shop at Macy's. One thing to certainly note is that a lot of these businesses weren't doing so well before the crisis happened, so they possibly used it as a way to cash out. You know, imagine you're Chuck E. Cheese and you get a couple mil, file for bankruptcy, dozens of famous restaurants in New York City closed. I'm sure those people were just waiting to cash out, get their check, and close the business. At the end of the day, it's the small businesses that suffer. Something like Macy's is able to say, okay, we have 499 employees here, 499 employees there. Macy's itself 
despite having thousands and thousands of employees, can divide their stores into separate entities and get loans in exorbitant amounts. That's why these corporations were able to fudge paperwork and get millions and millions of dollars, while small businesses like my own, Frankie's Strange Meat, were only able to get a few thousand dollars. And a few thousand dollars is not going to keep your business afloat if you even got the loan. Most people didn't get loans because the corporations got to them first and the loans ran out. The stimulus in general for 2.2 trillion, less than 10% of that went to the public. Someone left a comment on my video earlier, over $350 billion has been transferred from the 99% to the 1% over the last several months. But how fake are these numbers? They probably printed well over 2.2 trillion at this point, and I wouldn't be surprised if less than 2% of the total stimulus money actually went to the suffering American public. I'm sure they've printed, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten trillion dollars already, who knows? We need to re-emphasize the point that the bleeding is nowhere near over. They say 140,000 businesses are closed, many of them permanently. A realistic number is probably in the millions. Many more corporations are going to go bankrupt, firing thousands and thousands of more people. More and more small businesses are going to lose their jobs. We still have millions and millions of people that are going to lose their jobs. The worst is yet to come. And as soon as they hit that switch in the fall and children start dropping, the real chaos will happen. You could even call the behavior of the American public self-destructive by participating and listening to the nonsense put forward by the media, by being brainwashed, going along with their agenda, being herded like cattle, they will drive themselves and everyone else off a cliff. I really don't get it. Everyone is acting as if they lost their jobs and things will hopefully get better soon. They want to stay in their delusional mindset so they don't have to do anything difficult. You didn't lose your job. It was taken from you at the hands of both the elite in control as well as your fellow peers, your fellow c**ts that are telling you to not open your business, not support small businesses, buying stuff on Amazon cooped up in their homes. It's really simple. They drag as many people down to poverty as possible and as a result, large-scale problems require large-scale solutions. If everyone is poor and desperate, we need to fix it. And since they plan on doing this on a worldwide scale, global problems require global solutions. It's still crazy to me that no one is suspicious about every world government suddenly cooperating and shutting down. The illusion of choice, the illusion that the country you're in is different. Divide and conquer, all of these tactics and this programming and all of this nonsense is seen in pretty much every aspect of what they're doing. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, definitely check out yesterday's video if you, you know, want an update on the current events, what's going on in the world right now, uh, what my current thoughts are. But hey, you know, just try to you know, send videos to as many people as possible. Try to open up more minds to what's really going on and uh, hopefully uh, something positive can come out of this. So uh, you guys know how to support me down in the description below. Uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video as well as the Tuesday night live stream.